Now we're going to make a second treat and make that Christmassy too. These are rice bubble marshmallow treats. Not nearly as healthy as the one we made before, but sweet and delicious. So the first thing we need to do is melt the marshmallows and some butter so that they're all sticky and gooey and they'll hold together when we put in the rice bubbles. So Zeke, would you like to sort these out? We really should only use the white marshmallows because the pink makes the green a funny colour. So can you take the pink ones out for me? And then we need three cups of marshmallows. Let's do one each because there are three children. Michaela, you can fill the cup first. Don't have to be super full. That's plenty. Great. Amelia, one for you. Who loves marshmallows? Me. Mm, so sweet and soft. Me. Yeah. Great. Tip that in. Yeah. All right. Is that butter going to tip in, Amelia? Oh, oh yes. Good yes. job. All right. I'm going to pop this in the microwave. It will take about 60 seconds to melt everything together. Now we need to add the rice bubbles. Three cups. Amelia, would you like to do it this time? Yes, please. Not too full, shake it off a bit. Great. One. That'll do. Two. Last one. Last one. Three, excellent. Let's stir all that together. Jenny? Yes? How do we make the rice bubbles green? That's a very good question. How, what do you think we could add to make it green? How about green food colouring? Yeah. That'd work. I wonder how much we need. Mm, mm. A few drops. Just put a few drops and see how that goes. Oh, that was a lot. I think they'll be bright green. Let's see how we go. All right, look how green that is. Now, if we want to make them into a Christmas tree shape, it might be a bit tricky. And I found a little recipe that gives us a good idea. So we get a cake tin. And because this stuff is really, really sticky, we're going to spray it with cooking spray so that it won't stick and it'll come out at the end. All the way around, there we go. And we'll pour it in. So it doesn't get sticky. And you can see it's very soft and sticky and warm. So we need to put it in the fridge to let it set for a little bit before we try and cut it into the Christmas tree shapes. Press it all down. Great. So we'll let that sit in the fridge and then we'll cut it up and make Christmas trees with it. Okay, after 30 minutes in the fridge, our rice bubble treats have set. So we should be able to tip them out of the pan. <laughs> there we go. And now this is how we cut them into a Christmas tree shape. Cut across the middle first. And then you cut into what's called wedges. There we go. Do you think that looks like a Christmas tree? Yes. Yeah. Now, if we want to put them on a stick like we mentioned before, you just gently push it in. Like that. And now it's ready to decorate. There you go, Amelia. What are you going to put on yours? I don't know. There's so many choices. Well, see how you go. There you are, Zeke. Would you like to sprinkle some of these gold decorations on? Yes. Oh, what do you think? Sprinkle them on. Mm. Beautiful, they look like baubles on the Christmas tree. <laughs> Having a Nicely tree. done. And we could yeah. use the icing to make some tinsel down the tree. How's that? Want something else. You want something else? How about a star on the top? That's what I did. Fantastic. So there you go. Lots of different ways that you can decorate your Christmas tree rice bubble treats. If you want to find the recipes for these delicious treats that we've made today, you can look on our website, bunchofkids.org. It's under the resource section and look for Nana Jenny's Kitchen. Well, we've made some delicious treats today. I want to eat.
eat it all. You want to eat them all? <laughs> oh, what about that rule that we know that says we should think about other people as well as ourselves? How do you think we could share the treats that we have made today? By giving them to other people. We could do that. I have some cellophane bags. We could put some inside and tie them up and take them around to our friends and neighbours. <laughs> Good job. Well, I hope you enjoy making the Christmas treats that we did today. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.